and I think this may well be the last part. Thank you very much everyone who's been watching. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. It's really appreciated. Okay, let's get this done. I'm concerned about this last mission. I think it might take me a couple of tries. Is today going to be the day? The whole idea of Tulin feels so distant and close at the same time. My head and heart are filled with emotions I can't explain. Time to go. Final mission two. I need to throw away the three device parts respectively when I see the fifth, twelfth and twentieth item. To avoid being noticed I can't make any mistakes, not even delaying. Okay, fifth, twelve, twenty.
Hey, did we do it right? Did we do it right? So we made, made no mistakes, so that is surprising. When the work's done, I immediately noticed Turner at the same spot as yesterday. This time I know for sure he didn't see anything. Wish he could go. This was my last and best inspection ever. <laughs> Last day, Mr. Crawford. Whatever the result is going to be, good luck. Now you can go meet your lawyer in the lounge. Did we do it right? Did we do it right? Okay, please keep to the rules as before. Since we'll have a verdict today, this is going to be your last chance to discuss. Please make good use of it. Tell me you did it. The time was so tight, but I think I did it. Thank God. You didn't just finish work today, you made history with it. If things go well, I men should be putting together the device on the floor below us right now. And then what would happen? When the deputy is about to read out the verdict, bang! We'll hack into his mic. <laughs> and with the live broadcasting, we'll be able to speak to the entire city. We'll tell them the truth and make them doubt for the first time in their lives, maybe. Sounds great. You know, I'm so glad you can think that. The sacrifice you made we'll never forget. All we can do in return is to help you get out of the city. How exactly were you going to do that? After we hack the mic, we'll ask the staff to bring you out. And do you remember Oshimi, the guy who went to your booth? He'll take over and tell you the rest. Can I at least know where I'm going? You may have heard about that place. It's called Tulans. I'll be leaving for another city as well. Do you have anything you want us to help you do that here? Oh, but we need to do all of these things. So where's my cursor gone? Um, let's, you... let's look after Katya. She has a very special place in our hearts. Do you know Katya Ivanov? She was another defendant. Yes, I do. If possible, can you help her? She was sentenced to exile. They usually exile people at random locations, but I'll tell them to keep an eye out for her. Thank you. So, I guess this is going to be our goodbye. I think so. Listen, I've been waiting until now to tell you. Whatever reason it is behind your decision to help us, I want to say thank you. And I do hope you can appreciate it's worth like I do. Maybe not today, but eventually. Now let's go and end this. Gentlemen, are you ready? Sure. All right, please have a seat. We'll be going as, going fast towards the verdict. Dear citizens, good evening. The broadcast is live now, and we're all set to hear your opinions about the defendants. I hope you're still impressed with the testimonies yesterday, like I do. Mr. Crawford, please come forward, and make and you may start drafting up your final argument. Further delay, staff. Please get that dice rolling. Two oh five. Citizen number two oh five, please come forward to the stage. Your Honour and fellow judges, I've got to say I've been furious since I heard what he and the other inspector did. Didn't all food inspectors vow to protect the interests of people before they even started working? I'm sure they did, and the defendant did. So Mr. Crawford, you broke your vow completely. I don't know about the others. For me, that one thing is enough. And you aren't even sorry for what you did. At least, I can't feel it. Thank you. Next. Five 
157, system number 157, please come forward to the stage. Hi. I, I just want to say I still remember the day I heard about what the defendant's father did. That day I just got recovered from severe starvation, and it was caused by nothing else but the flooding in of population. I was too weak to stop people from robbing my food. What saved me back then were the walls the government built and the order the government established. So I was shocked to see someone trying to break them after all that happened. The defendant got that from his father. He must go to jail, because I'm not returning to that time. Not ever. Thank you. Next. It's so looking bad for us. Hopefully this plan works. 60. Citizen number 60, please come forward to the stage. Everybody, I hope you didn't forget what we say today is going to be heard by the entire city. There's no reason not to speak out to anger and disappointment. Can't you see? This man is a lying hypocrite than any of us. When people are dying of hunger on the street, this man is eating good food up in the sky. And he's not even satisfied. He's satisfied. He's even going to take more from us. I bet he already forgot what it's like to live down here on the ground. Two most important things in our lives are needed, trust and rules. He spit on them both. So I say, let's punish him for that. Make him pay, make him pay, make him pay. What an ending, judges. I believe you all made the message very clear. Mr. Cox, it's your turn now. I feel sorry for my client, but at this point I don't see there's anything less for us to argue. And I think Mr. Crawford also agrees that he was ready to take responsibility for what he did. Well, I guess he should have shown no matter that this should be a good lesson for all government workers. Okay, and all we have left to do is the voting. Personally, the obvious one, guilty or not guilty. Well, not guilty. Wouldn't even let me click on the button. Uh oh, looking bad for us. come in soon and save us and guilty it is doesn't feel the same when you yourself are standing down there does it let's move on to the next for what the defendant did and has been charged with two possible options are decided based on Eden law one is immediate dismissal which also includes permanent ban on future application for any government positions and compulsory educational program the other is 10 years from prison where he'll be taught how to be qualified to a qualified citizen as well. Now please make your choice. I guess I did the the dropping bar. Okay, yeah, I can't press anything here. I guess I've been asked on it. It's just coincidence. Hey, one for dismissal, that's good. Time's up, and there we have it, our final verdict, no surprises. Oh. <laughs> My dear sisters and everyone that's watching or listening to us elsewhere, here I announce that the decision of the majority of our anonymous judge judges not court is now sentenced to... Sorry, the signal is bad. let me repeat. By the decision of the majority of our anonymous judges, Ned court is now sentenced to 10 years of imprisonment. The execution will be tomorrow after the defendant collected all his belongings in the skyline. Staff, please take him to the first floor. We already have an officer waiting for him there. So did I fail? You go now. 
Okay. Dear citizens, before they cut me offline, there's something important I have to tell you. If you think a food inspector shouldn't take things off the belt, you should hear this. The government doesn't take any food off the belt. Not because it doesn't want to, but because it doesn't have to. The truth is, the government simply owns the food, all of them. The grey ones, if they're more than just names or whoever that's are behind those masks, use this advantage to manipulate and exploit us. And the worst thing they did is to force a world where there's only black and white. You're either a perfect citizen or you're a fought criminal. There's no middle ground for you to stand on to question the rules themselves. Therefore, many of us have to follow, even protect this system. Sure, we may get to live a peaceful or even abundant life, but we'll never know when the guillotine will fall. For everything we get, we get it from them, which comes with a price. So we are. Deeds are trying to change this. We've never used violence. All we did was to bring seeds into Eden. With seeds, everyone can easily create food with their own hands for the first time in decades. And that is going to be our first step to... Okay, so we just succeeded on this. Hey, you there. Is he the defendant? I've been waiting here for two hours. Uh, yes, sorry. It's alright, just leave him to me here. You can go back to the court now. Remember to tell them that Joseph took over. You got it, sir. You are... Oshimi. Thanks for remembering me, Mr. Crawford. But now, let's run. Well, that was good. We arrived at the foot of the mountain. Oshimi took me to the spinner and started teaching me how to drive it. By the time I realised, I'm already flying high above the night sky. This sky I'm so familiar with just outside of my booth. And now the cold wind's blowing through my cheeks. Through my cheeks. <laughs> how you can see actually connects to every single shore in the world. <laughs> For the first time in my life, even with everything behind and ahead of me unknown. I 
feel what it is like to be free. Three months later, Mami, Mamini Restaurant, Peaceful Underground Area, Tuland. Peaceful Underground Area, that's a nice name. Ned, get the belt and sushi ready. We're opening in 30 minutes. Got it. Hey, you know what day it is today? Of course, it's the radio day, isn't it? It is. And are you counting the days or something? Yes, I am. You don't get to listen to the news every day, let alone the music. Well, that's true. By the way, I found a postcard in our mailbox this morning. Is it for you? Postcard? Yeah, I put it on the shelf there. Check it out yourself. Okay, I'd better go prepare. Meet me out here when you're done. Check all your letters. Copy is free. Oh, I don't remember what that number is. Six, 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 seven, seven. Okay. Oh, I don't remember that number so turn on the radio yeah Latest news on foreign affairs. Since the citywide riot concerning food matters broke out in Eden, a series of negotiations have reached deadlock. While the local government claimed the situation is under control, 
A few days ago, a small amount of civilians still managed to escape the city and started building up shelters in the wild. It is believed some previously exiled citizens have been saved by this and thus joined in the resistance force. Whether this will become a valid solution to the status quo in Eden remains unclear. Task skipping and auto dialogue options have been unlocked. You can now load and restart the game from any day to explore. Well, maybe we'll release another part um, showing some alternate content if people are interested. So let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. It's been wonderful. See ya.